Hello everybody and welcome to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. I tried to do a voice over there but it didn't turn out as well as I thought it did. So without further ado I'm going to start a new game and we're going to play this relatively scary game. Um, I have not yet played this game. It's all very new to me. I know basic controls of PC games, WASD to move. Don't forget, Shift to run, control to crouch, and I'm guessing Tab is going to be my inventory. My name is Daniel. I live in London. At, at, uh, Mayfair. Moving around. What have I done? Looking at things. Crazy. Just as I can. Don't forget. All right. Um, Don't forget. I want to I get to that. I get must to it. stop. Get to it. Get to it. Want to get to it all. My name is. Hey, hold down left mouse and move. I am. I got it! I win! I win! Alright. Alright. I know there's a moment in here where you like see a glimpse of the monster. And when I get to that moment I'm just gonna run by him and see what happens. See if he actually chases after me or if he's just pre programmed. Cause I was watching the trailer and that's that's what one of the things were. J Diary. Alright. So looking around. That yeah, I took his head off. I took his head off. Oh god, I'm dying. Don't take his off head off too. There. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's new. Didn't see that. A little startled. What's in here? Wine. Bottles of wine. That break. And a chair. That doesn't break. And a tinder box. And a fire. All right. Oh, I probably shouldn't be doing that. It's probably copyrighted to high, high, high circumstances. Let's go with that word. Why am I tilted sideways? Or is that just me? Turn the box. I'm just gonna keep going up the stairs. We're coming up on that part, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm going down. I'm be going down. I be going down. Uh oh. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, 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 okay. Just following this Pepto Bismol. No way. No. No, there's that door. No. No. Um. How do I peek? I saw that. Um. Yes, peek. All right. Okay. Seems normal. Nope. 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 Nope, 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 bad room. Bad, bad, bad. Never. Um. Um. There. That'll keep it open. That'll keep it closed. Wardrobe. Shirt. Awesome. Is there anything I missed in here? Where was this place? Right. That nut guy. What's up? Uh, how you doing? Not much of a talker, are you? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> the freaking clank of that helmet. Still following, still following, still following, still following. Boop. Doing parkour. 
Hardcore, parkour. Hardcore. Old archives. Do I wanna go in there yet? Is there anything back here? Hello, secrets. Secrets? No, no secrets. Hello, door. Okay, so yeah, this is. How, how was your day? How uh, how are you doing today? Good, because I can't hear you. Do not want, and it just put out all the tor. Yep, it put out all the torches. God, dang it. What's in here? There's gotta be something worth it in here then. If for that to happen. In the boxes. Oh! Those weren't there. What the heck are cockroaches? Really? Slight headache. Alright, 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 alright. I really don't like cockroaches. Not at all. Okay. You hear that? I got my headphones even on like half of full blast and that's clear as day and I really don't want to go near it. Hello? Anything in here? What are you facing me towards? Oh, lantern. Lantern? Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Chest. In the box. I really don't want to be here right now. I don't at all. Come on, please. Oh. Okay. Rocks. Door. Why is my screen rumbling? Why is my screen rumbling? What, what the heck is going on? Hello? Okay, okay, okay. Make my screen rumble. Run away, you wimp. I don't know. Alright, what's over here? Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna pull it. Yay! Whoa, okay. Okay! I'll take that. Where does this go? Entrance hall? Okay, but I saw a note back there, so I gotta go read that. Chair, get out of the way. You're not worth it. 19th of August, 1839. I wish right, I could ask quiet. how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both. Daniel, 
descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Alright, so now I know I'm here. That still... Still doesn't make me feel any better. I heard something. What was that? Ooh, Ooh pedals. Alexander, Thanks. is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My oh, most what's precious that? chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Well, I don't think I can go that way. I'm gonna go up these stairs first. Hello? Hello? Person? I go to the wine cellar. Laboratory. Eh, laboratory sounds better. Woo! Already the scares are happening. <laughs> Hi. Who there? Hello. Screaming. Oh. Okay, that seems that's legitimate. All right. I don't want to go there anymore. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to though. Oil, that's all that. I really don't like this atmosphere, guys. I really don't. Hello? Hello? Other people? Please? I don't want to be here alone. Whoa. Um. Poison potion, go! Nope. Alrighty then. Well. There should be more Kubrak. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Force. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to make something. There's gonna be like ingredients. You know, I just realized what I said. That was that was so smart of me. Tinderbox. Ooh, what's that? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for life together, I know I am better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Is that it? Oh, it's not moving, so. I'm sure that's it. I see a tinderbox. Okay, are there any lights over here? Come on. Oh, I still know. Alright, I'm not gonna read out loud. I know I read that last. Oh, actually, yeah, I will read out loud, actually. 
It's only one page. This is my third attempt to produce the artificial vitae. This former compound lacked the potency I need, but I sense I am close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and cuprite binds them well. Okay, maybe I'm not going to read it. Um, I'm going to skim it and see what I need. You can read it if you want. Oh, there was candles. Awesome. Okay. So this over here. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, and many are stained by the fumes and will dip be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them into the wine cellar. Ah, I gotta go to the wine cellar. Bad things happen in the wine cellar. Well, I don't know if bad things happen in this wine cellar, but normally bad things happen in the wine cellar. They the freaking voices sound like they're coming in that direction. I don't want to go in that direction anymore. I want to go this way. Screw that. I'm I'm out. Bye. I will come back for you, rocks that whisper to me. <laughs> okay. I don't have a timer on this episode, so when I decide to end it, it might be like 20 minutes in. Ah, oh, I won't open without a key. I don't know when this is gonna end, so just stick with me. I'll end it whenever I deem it necessary. What does that say? Archives. Oh, if I went up to the door, I would have seen the archives. Okay, so. What was that? What? What? Hello? Okay, okay, I'm gonna go in this room. See what's there. Nope. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Alright. So this guy definitely wants things. Alright. Do that. Something tells me I shouldn't be using this the the uh, the tinder boxes like I am seems like there's a lot more they're a lot more rare than I think they are oh, 17th of May 1839 at least I'm getting these in the right my order hands tremble as I write I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. 
I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. All right. Um, I was going to do that, you jerk. I'm scared of that. I have a feeling I have a slight headache. I jot down. No, oh, that's not it. No one's in the local history. Is there another entrance? Try to keep the lines on it. Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> this is the room. Did I miss it? Uh... Oh, well, well this, this, this was the room. And there was a monster that went this way. I don't see it. I think I might have missed it. Oh well. Um, I, I think this is a good point to end off the video anyway, guys. Find out what that noise was in the next episode. Bye!